Senator Professor Nora Lari Dadut. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to move the motion on the urgent need for an upward review of budgetary allocation to the National Veterinary Research Institute, BOM, Plateau State, to boost the vaccine production capacity of the institution, or of the institute, I beg your pardon. Um, Mr. President, may I inform this honorable chambers that this National Veterinary uh, Institute, VOM, was established in 1925. It's about 96 years old now, as I speak. And that is why this motion, I pray, that will be supported by the House. Therefore, the Senate notes that veterinary research includes the study of spontaneously occurring and experimentally induced models of both human and animal diseases and research at human-animal interferences such as food safety, wildlife and ecosystem health, zoonotic, uh, zoonotic diseases and public policy. The Senate further notes that the contribution of veterinary research to our everyday lives cannot be overemphasized. It therefore is cognizant that the National Veterinary Research Institute from Plateau State, which was established with a mandate to, among others, conduct research into all aspects of animal diseases, their treatments and control, develop and produce animal vaccines to meet national demand. Senate further is cognizant that the National Veterinary Research Institute strives to be the foremost veterinary research institute in Africa. And here it includes Ghana, Burkina Faso, Niger, and other countries producing international quality vaccines and offering services for the identification, control, and eradication of livestock diseases through best practices and research excellence, and has recently developed, produced, and commercialized 19 vaccines for the control of livestock and poultry. May I add, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, that this same institute has provided services to the neighboring states concerning the COVID-19 vaccination. And at least about 500 vac uh, cases have been treated within certain weeks in that same institute. Senate is also aware that Towards meeting the demand of vaccine production, the Institute also recently constructed an established quality control complex for quality assurance of vaccines and laboratory tests, as well as bacterial vaccine production complex to meet compliance and continuous culture for vaccine production. It is also evident that the continuing actualization of the excellent research output of the Institute is dependent upon the availability of financial resources to boost its research facilities and infrastructure. Senate, therefore, regrets that despite its visible efforts and commendable outputs, this 96-year-old Institute has not been able to perform optimally due to paucity of funds, a situation that, that has negatively impacted on the ability of the Institute to deliver its mandate to the best of its potential and, of course, 
uh, its uh, values. Senate is therefore worried that the failure to adequately fund the activities of the Institute is having serious negative effects on the country's livestock production with harmful consequences for the economy. And this is the prayer that the Senate mandate its committee on agriculture and rural development to engage with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in order to explore ways of increasing the budgetary allocation to the National Veterinary Research Institute, VOM, Plateau State, for optimal performance. Mr. President, I so move. Thank you. Yes, Senator Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, and may Muhammad and Mali, Mr. President, I rise to second this motion because of its importance. Uh, National Veterinary Research, National Veterinary, uh, National Veterinary Research Institute in Guam is one of the oldest, you know, institutes in the country. It's meant to produce vaccines for animals or for livestock generally. Uh, I happen to be in the Committee on Agriculture. Mr. President, the head of this institute complained bitterly to us that uh, the allocation given to them is grossly inadequate and they will not be able to carry out important research and also be able to produce enough vaccines for use in the country. Mr. President, if we can adequately fund this institute, we have no business importing vaccines into Nigeria. Uh, he assured us that he has all the staff, all the technical staff required to produce higher quality vaccines for the use of our livestock. And it can, it can even, we can even stop importing and thereby saving for the exchange. I therefore uh, support this motion that uh, there should be increased funding to uh, this institute and possibly we can even look beyond the budget if possible so that uh, we can adequately fund this institute in order to perform optimally. It is for our own good. Uh, we are in the era of uh, uh, diversification of the economy and I believe it is uh, in line with that that uh, I support the request that more funding should go into this institute so that uh, uh, agriculture can be diversified. It's a means of getting foreign exchange. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, distinguished colleagues, okay, Senator Oloro Oroyolo Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Senator Adelere Adeyemi representing also West Senatorial District. Um, I want to uh, thank the mover of this uh, motion and to say that the recent challenges posed by various epidemics that is cutting across the world especially when you talk about Ebola and the, the most recent one, which is uh, COVID-19, and the limited availability of uh, the global limited availability of vaccine calls for uh, local uh, production. And uh, I believe that if we are able to uh, fund this particular research institute. Uh, it is possible for us even to get sufficient vaccine for the country and also we can also export to other countries hereby attracting foreign uh, currency uh, to our country. 
uh, in few of these, I want us to go beyond the request that we go to Ministry of uh, Agri to look for additional funding, but also to make it uh, one of the uh, supplementary uh, budget uh, issue that we want. We are proposing for the. Uh, defense that during that time we also make a, a supplementary project uh, for the uh, research institute so that they will be able to uh, come up with uh, uh, quality vaccine that will be internationally acceptable uh, as your support. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. There is only one prayer. We go to the prayer mandate is Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development to engage with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in order to explore ways of increasing the budgetary allocation to the National Veterinary Research Institute, MVRI, for optimal performance. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay, the aye side. Yes? Mr. President, my amendment is that you should read that if there is a need that the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development should present a, a supplementary uh, budget towards the realization of this, uh, the funding of the, this research institute. Well, my, my take will be before somebody seconds. My take will be that uh, the supplementary budget the National Assembly is waiting is exclusively for the purchase of COVID-19 vaccines and the security funding of security agencies. The 2022 budget. Uh, appropriation bill, I'm sure by June they will start working on it because they will present it in September. So instead of uh, maybe diluting the, 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 the supplementary budget, because if you start adding these things, we don't know why, why it will end. I would rather suggest that we look at the 2022 appropriation and see where we can place this in Senator Lero. Yeah, Mr. President, I want to suggest that uh, we advise the Institute to approach the CBM for intervention, just like what they are doing in uh, uh, dry season farming for rice, maize, and other crops. Uh, the CBM has intervened in cotton production, in cocoa production, in rubber plantation, in palm oil, and uh, they can also intervene in the production of uh, vaccine for livestock. It's all about agriculture. Uh, I, I think if we do that, uh, we will have an easier and faster way of uh, getting funding. Thank you. I, I would suggest that, that that should be an additional prayer. And it's not for the MVRI management to approach CBN. We can urge the CBN to, 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 to provide some funds for MVRI instead of asking the management to, to go through. Maybe we can use that as an, an additional prayer. Is that okay? Can we say special funding? I say, can we say special funding instead of additional funding? <laughs> Senator Professor. Thank you, Mr. President and uh, distinguished colleagues. Um, I want to really emphasize and support the uh, two last speakers, particularly concerning the special funding. Because when I visited the institute, I went round. So you are seconding the additional prayer? Okay, that's okay. So those in support of the additional prayer, say aye. aye. Those against, say nay, the aye side. Well, thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. And let me also say that, as far as I know, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has about um, 22 or more agriculture research institutes. I serve as chairman of the Committee on Agriculture in the House of Reps. Uh, for some years, and I know how MVRI was uh, uh, underfunded, of course, alongside the other 
Agricultural Research Institute. Now we have National Agricultural Research Council uh, that oversees the activities of this institute. We cannot make serious uh, progress in agriculture if we continue to do it the way we have been doing it in the last 100, 200 years. We still have our cows are those that give us just some few pints of milk because of the breed, because of the way we, uh, we, 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 we walk around with them. Uh, the, low, the level of management is, it makes it difficult for them to really give you the kind of yield and output that you would need. Uh, similarly, our crop yields are so low, what could be 20 uh, tons of uh, maize in Brazil, for example, per hectare, here maybe maybe two or three uh, tons per hectare. And, and we just cannot make serious progress with this kind of thing. So we need to put a lot of resources into our, our agricultural institutes. And, and there are people, very brilliant Nigerians. In 2004, we traveled to Brazil, to Ambrepa. Ambrepa is the largest agricultural research uh, institute in Brazil. And guess what? The man at the center of research on cassava, the best person in the world, was a Nigerian. He was needed everywhere. When we went to that institute, he was either in Sweden or somewhere. Everybody was looking for him. But he was just away from Nigeria, here. He worked in IITA in Ibadan, and somebody just didn't like his face. The guy, I think, was from Cross River or Kwaibo. And they sacked him. So we have brilliant people, but we need to give them what to work with. And I believe that giving our agricultural research institute some funding will make them do better and will revolutionize our agricultural sector. Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues.